Here, speak for a sec right there. Just speak to them. Say whatever Hello, you want. Hello, everyone. It's me again, Tony Hinchcliffe. And I'm excited to be here in Pauly Shore's apartment. It's almost up. like Mr. Rogers, but for creepers. That's right. Absolutely, it is. It's like uh, instead of changing his shoes, he changes your shoes. Right, right. So, so let's talk about older comics versus newer comics. Okay. Because it's just like older music. Here, stand right here. So okay. It's good. Is that good, Dave? Dave? That looks pretty good, yeah. Yeah. So give me your inclination about that. Older comics and newer comics? Yeah. The differences or uh, what? Just because you always, you always hear like music. Oh, Led Zeppelin was the best. The Beatles were the best. The Stones were the best. And then you got newer bands people that the young kids maybe not know that. So it's the same with comedians. Mm -hmm. You got Pryor. You got Carlin, you got all these older guys, and then now you got, you know, Rogan and Burr and, and all these other guys, Ali Wong and Whitney and Dalia and all that. So, because I've seen it, I've seen it more than anyone. I've seen all the decades. Yeah. Yeah. You so, have. Yeah, so go on. I mean, uh, we have to, of course, you know, pay our respects to our elders, the, some of the goats, Richard Pryor, uh, George Carlin. I mean, come on. These people are monsters. And I think if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be where we're at today with stand-up comedy being so wildly successful. These, so, are, these are the guys that influenced your Bill Burrs, your Louis C.K.'s, your Joe Rogans. They were once kids watching these guys saying, oh my God, I want to do that. How do I do that? So who do you think's better, the older guys or the newer guys? Uh, I think that's... That's kind of like saying it's, Michael Jordan or Steph Curry or... What, what, right, what, right. What do you think? It's, it's, or, or, or LeBron, sorry. It's Go a on. tough situation. It goes both ways. I think Richard Pryor's probably the greatest of all time. Okay, but I, so I you think, got, wait, wait. So you got Chappelle now, Richard Pryor. Who's better? If you had to choose. If you I, had to choose. I, I think... Well, realistically, I think Chappelle's a different case. I think he's the greatest of all time. Actually, I do. Yeah, I got Chappelle winning that because yeah, that, oh, bigger than Pryor. I don't know if he's bigger he's than not bigger Pryor. but better. I think he's probably better than Pryor. I think Pryor probably uh, had to work out stuff a little bit more, a lot of bit more probably. Whereas Chappelle can take something that happened that day and do twenty minutes on mm. it that night and be unbelievably. Hilarious so about got, it. I've seen it so many times. He's so you, just a freak. You got Sam Kennison, Bill Burr. Yep. I'm going Bill Burr on this one. Sam Kennison, again, <laughs> one of the greatest ever, but we're talking about laughs per minute. We're talking about originality, <laughs> creativity, and really wait, pushing wait, Why it. the fuck are you laughing, Chinese? What's so funny? What happened? Oh, okay. Sorry. Keep going. Sorry. I think Go there's on. no doubt about it that, uh, that, I mean, if we watch them both side by side, even in their prime, while I respect the hell out of what Sam was doing and it was a different show, uh, I mean, Bill Burr is just undeniable. Right. You know, I mean, you can't even compare Bill Burr to anybody else. It's, it's weird to me when people do, like, oh, you're no Bill Burr. Like, it's like, no shit. The guy's obsessed with getting a massive amount of laughs in a short amount of time and huge laughs, not mm. giggles. And it's just a different ball game he's playing. He's like the Bill Belichick of stand-up comedy. So you're basically pretty much saying that the younger comics are better than the older comics. However, wait, wait, wait. Don't, yep. don't answer. Stop for yep. a second. Yep. Think about what you just said. Because yep. what you just honestly said is that the newer guys are better than the older guys. But wait, wait. Take three seconds and th think about it for a sec. You just said that. Three, two, one. <laughs> so without the older guys, they would never be able to do what they're doing. But yes, the game is more evolved, just like the NBA, right. just like Steph Curry, just like every analogy possible. Without the forefathers, it wouldn't be possible. But now the game has evolved. It's more laughs per minute. Here, come on. It's more Let's keep talking. Voice. He's excited. It's, uh, Here, keep talking to that camera. That's good. Keep speaking. Keep ranting, bro. You know, this the, is great. The different styles. I hey, mean, you guys. Tony's we the best to, ranter so if we far. Were to compare, yeah. uh, if Thank we were to compare going. the old blue collar guys, like if you compare, what are you going to compare? Jeff Foxworthy and Theo Vaughn? Give me a break. Theo Vaughn would destroy any of the blue collar guys in a in a in a stand up but comedy. But what about off. your friend John Caparulo? Come on. Um we're not really that close, Polly. Oh, sorry. Yeah, he doesn't uh, ever communicate with me. He barely talked to me when I worked the door at the comedy here, store. Here, let's sit, sit down right here. Okay. 